It's happening. Things are happening. Oh my god. I actually look like a different person. Hey guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is sponsored by Wish. Woo, 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 woo. Thank you, Wish. I have done videos with Wish products in the past. You guys seem to really like it. So very excited to get to partner with them this time. You can basically find anything on Wish. They have all different categories of stuff from electronics to beauty products, different gadgets. Everything is just so affordable. Like the prices on the Wish app, you guys, like that's what makes it so hyped up. And today's video is gonna be extra spicy, extra fun, because I have bought a bunch bunch of different style of wigs from Wish. We have all different colors, short, long. We're gonna get to see all the different alter egos that Sylvia has today with these wigs. I also switched up my look a little bit today with these contacts. What do we think of them? So different, right? Green contacts, why not? Different colored wigs, why not? I've always loved playing with my look, changing things up a bit. I have dyed my hair probably every color under the sun, like it was red in high school, fire truck red. I've gone bleach blonde. You've seen the hair transformations. You know, that's just a woman's prerogative. We're allowed to switch up our style, switch up our looks. And I'm super thankful that Wish is recognizing Women's History Month this month. Yay. They have so many different products that cater to empowering women around the world. So we're proud partners with Wish today. But before we get started, you guys know the deal. I'm gonna make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that little bell to be notified every time I drop a new video. Join the S Club. And without further ado, let's talk about these wigs. So the wigs have all arrived. It's actually hilarious. They're all just kind of laying around me in the studio because I don't have the little mannequin heads to hold my wigs on yet because I've never had this many wigs. But they are ready to go, ready to be tried on. So basically when looking for these wigs, I just went on the Wish app and searched lace front wigs. Lace front is key. I don't know much about installing wigs to be honest, like I do my best, but I know lace front will definitely give you the most natural look. So I feel like lace front was just, that was my vibe. So many different options came up, all different styles, all at very reasonable prices. I wanted kind of all different colors. I wanted different lengths. When searching for the stuff, the app is very, very simple and easy to use. They have a ton of different ways to filter your search. And I filtered my search so then it would only show me items that were available for express shipping. And I was surprised with how many lace front wigs they actually had to choose from. Like I kind of went ham. I got a lot. That's how the shopping went. Now the items are here and we're going to get to try them on. So I do have eye tip extensions in my hair, which makes it very thick already on its own. And I just have a lot of hair to begin with here. So when you're putting on a wig, you want to try and make your hair as flat as possible. So I put them in double dutch braids so it's nice and tight and flat to my head and then I'm gonna kind of just start by tucking and folding them into each other like this wrapping it around my head I mean it's still gonna be a little thick but that's okay and if you don't have this much hair to begin with it's really easy just slick your hair back tie it in a really tight bun or a little french braid slick it to your scalp as much as possible so I'm just gonna pin these in real quick I'm looking a little like Princess Leia here it's a little cute basically all of the wigs came with a wig cap so now I have like an unlimited amount that's great I didn't have to buy it separately. So let's put this on. Get to looking like a condom, you know. Oh my God, my head is so big. <laughs> okay, wrap it around. Not bad. Nice and easy. And like I said, I'm not an expert at like installing wigs. I just kind of do what I learned by just watching different types of videos. I'll link a few videos down below, some tutorials on how to make synthetic wigs look more natural and how to install them because they probably have better tips than I do. I'm just doing, I'm just doing what I can here. I don't know. So it's on and I feel like I want to keep some of my baby hairs out. We good. So the first wig we are trying is this one right here. They called it short bob wigs, natural straight lace front wig with baby hair. Oh, it does have baby hairs. Let's see. So that's amazing. That'll make it look more natural, hopefully. It's from the shop QD Tizer hair store. So you can see the lace front right here. Feels very, very soft. It definitely has some shine to it, but it doesn't look like too shiny to where it's like fake, you know? I'm going to go ahead and have to cut that off as close as I can to the root without cutting those baby hairs. The inside also has these little clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip that into my bald cap nice and snug. But honestly, I'm not too concerned with making it look perfect because we have so many wigs to try on. I'm not gonna like glue it down or style them. Okay, brush it out a bit. So soft. So the baby hairs that were already kind of cut in the wig are kind of tucked in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush those out. I have to use my comb. So if I had time to style this and we weren't trying a hundred wigs today, I would definitely lay this those baby hairs down. But it's really nice that it comes with the baby hairs kind of pre-cut that definitely saves you some time so i mean okay she's brushed out i definitely want to make the hairline look more
more prominent. So a little trick that I've seen to do that is you take some concealer or a powder. I'm gonna go ahead and take my MAC Studio Fix powder, similar shade to your skin tone, and then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of create a hairline here. And you can see the hairline from the wig, how it kind of separates from my natural hairline. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect that with that powder. Back to my black hair days. I'm down, I look so different. So this is 12 inches. It's definitely a blunt cut bob. It says that it is 100% heat resistant. So you could use a bit of heat on it to kind of flatten it and get rid of those bumps. If you clip the front up, there's tons of different ways to style this one because it does have baby hairs and it's lace front. If you glued it down at the front, you could tie this part up. Let me try and clip some of the hair back, do a cute little style here. This is so cute. Bob Sylvia in the building. I look like I could be like an international spy. No one will recognize me. She cute. I love this one. It's so bouncy. I really like the cut. The back is like shorter, so it goes to a short to long kind of bob. So this one's definitely a hit in my books. I really like it. I feel like a whole new beach. Okay, I rate this one definitely an 8.5. We're starting off strong here. I don't wanna take it off. Like I just can't stop looking at myself in the monitor. I'm sorry, but I like it. Next. The next one is a lot of fun. It is like this purple to pink ombre. It was only $17 from the shop Deep House New Disco. It's completely straight all the way through. I've always wanted pink hair. So today's the day. Let's put it on. This one's a lot longer than the other one. I think it's like 22 inches or something. This one is not a lace front, however. I did want to also try and see the difference between the ones that were lace front and the ones that are not. I would wear this even with a hat, then no one could see, you know, that you don't know how to install a wig, it's fine. I'm a princess, unicorn vibes for sure. Let me try and straighten out this hairline if I could see. Excuse me, ma'am, get out my face, thank you. So for this one, if I had more time and we weren't just throwing them on today, I would kind of pluck out some hairs from the front of the wig and then I would shave them down using a razor is really good for that. Again, I would do that trick that I did with the first one to make the hairline more prominent. If you didn't want to style that hairline, take a look. Little hack, just throw on a beanie and you still look like a bad bitch. And there are tricks to taking out shine in synthetic wigs. I heard that soaking it in really warm water and apple cider vinegar will take off like the plastic coating to make it look more hair-like, but I do really like the shine to it. I think it just adds to it. Like it makes me look like a Barbie. It's crazy I can just throw on a wig and feel like a totally different person. Like. I give this one a 7.5. I do really like it, but once I pluck out like the baby hairs and style it properly and get rid of a little bit of the shine, it would definitely be like a nine because I've never worn pink hair and this is dope. Next, we have this brown to blonde ombre wig. It looks a tad different than the picture. Like the roots are a little bit more of like a honey brown than the cool tone brown in the picture, but it still looks really pretty. I don't know if I can pronounce the store name. It's XING, XING Creative Home. This one was lace front as well. I just cut off the lace. Oh my God. It looks sick already. I'm gonna try and create a little hairline again. That makes the world a difference like with the other wigs. So I need a hairline. This is so fun. Okay, so one half is straightened and it's actually crazy to see the difference a little bit of styling can go. You really can't judge these wigs before you style them because it makes such a difference. Look at that. And I don't think you guys realize how long this wig is. It's actually crazy. It reaches below my waist. Like it definitely reaches my bum. I would definitely take some time plucking out some of the hairs at the front of the lace and creating some baby hairs so then I could lay them down and make it a little thinner there. But just with a little bit of straightening, you can see it went a long way. I really like this color on me too. I think it looks sick. Let's see what this one looks like with the hat too. Cute. So this one I'd probably give an eight. I do really like the color. I've always wanted to dye my hair this color. It definitely is giving me Christina Aguilera vibes. The fact it's so long, like my natural hair could never, you know? Next. So next we have another lace front. This one is so pretty. It's like this lavender color and it is 26 inches. So we got another really, really long one. This one's curly. The other ones that we got were straight. It's a really pretty color. And to dye your hair this color would take so much effort and time and money. This one was from the shop called QD Yezimen Hair Products Co. Oh my God, I'm excited. Look at it already. I think this color matches my skin tone so well. Don't get too excited, Sylvia. Give her a little brush through. Oh my God. So it looks like the hair parts only to about the middle here and then the rest of it falls back. So I can't make the hairline go all the way back, but it gives us a lot of volume in the back of our hair. I love this color. It's definitely giving me Kylie vibes. The curls at the bottom are really, really cute. I like how long it is. The hairline is kind of stressing me out. I definitely have to spend some time 
time styling it. Again, I would just do the little powder trick. I'm also gonna go grab some like shears that I use on Prince for grooming him and we're gonna try and create some baby hairs. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I feel like I got this. So for baby hairs, I would take like the first really thin row of hair and let's try using these shears. I don't know, I'm kind of scared. Oh my God. It's happening, things are happening. Okay, we cut it off, oh my God. And you see this lifting, like that wouldn't happen if I took the time to actually glue the wig down, but we ain't got time today. No, sir. I'm gonna stick my toothbrush in there a bit, take off the excess on my hand. Not bad, that definitely helped a lot. Do you see the difference between this side and this side? Cutting a little bit of baby hairs, laying them down a bit, just makes it look like it's actually coming from your head. That's what I would do with most of the wigs, just to help blend them in a bit better, but that looks so much better. So final thoughts, loving the color of this one. I think the lavender really suits my skin tone. I've never tried purple hair before. So let me put the hat on. Oh yes, the hat just helps so much. It's such a great cop out. Purple vibes, what do you guys think? What do you rate this one? This next one I'm so excited about. Look how cute it looks. It's like this 10 inch little bob and it is baby blue. This one was $26 from Zuzia O Smile. This one's a lace front as well. Oh my God, it's gonna match my eyes a little bit. Oh, this one was easy to put on. I like the short wigs. They're so easy to handle. It's so cute, what the heck? I look so different. I love how it's curved out like that. 70s vibes. Oh my God, I'm literally giving Team Rocket vibes. Jesse, James. I look like James from Team Rocket, you guys. Blasting off with the speed of light. I love it. I have never imagined myself in blue hair, you guys. This looks dope. This would be so cute with some fun buns and some baby hairs laid flat. That's how I would wear it. For a festival, come on now. Some quick fun buns, they're a little messy, but that's okay. This one, I give a 10. I actually love this one so much, which is surprising to me. I didn't think I would be into like a blue wig, but this looks dope. It makes me feel hella creative. Like I feel like I could be an anime character with this wig. And this one was really easy to throw on too. Next we have this really long, sleek silver one. This one was $27 from a Kratos store. Let's put it on story time real quick. In university, I tried to go silver, like an ombre silver. And I went to a hair salon that I'd never been to before. It was right before my birthday and I was so excited to like switch up my hair, but little did I know how much actually goes into going from like dark brown to gray. It did not go well. I ended up leaving with like my hair half done. It was so splotchy. The transition from the dark to the silver was like an orange line across my head. And it was the day before I turned like 19, I think it was horrible. It looked so bad. I had to wear a hat, but then after a few appointments and I went to a different salon, they actually got it right. But holy hell, this is on. I think this one looks the best just right off the bat. I didn't even have to style it yet. This looks so good. Hello, I'm Storm from X-Men right now. And look how long it is. This one looks dope. I really like this one. It's a lace front too, so it'd be really easy to make it look natural. Pluck out some hairs for some baby hairs, lay them down, and then you're good to go. I love this color. Holy, this is making me want to go silver again, you guys. Stop me, stop me. It looks so good with the contacts too. And this one turned out exactly like the photo too. I think I got it in 24 inches, but they have it available up to 30 inches if you wanna go hella long. It's high quality, heat resistant, so you can style it if you wanna straighten it some more, flatten it. It feels really, really silky smooth. This one's not getting as tangled, so I do really like the feel of this one. I feel like you could style it really pretty, like half up, half down, once you cut baby hairs into it. I gotta do a look with this, you guys. This looks dope. When I start getting gray hair, you bet I'm just gonna go full on gray. I look good with gray hair, what the heck? I actually feel like a superhero with this hair. She's icy. I could be a queen on Game of Thrones with this hair. Okay, I'm getting too hyped up with this wig. I need to change it. Next, this one I give a 10, by the way. 10s across the board. I really like this one. This next one is extremely vibrant. We got a like orange red situation. I'm so stoked to put this on. It's available up to 30 inches and I'm pretty sure I got like 26 inches in this one. It is from Kratos store again. It is a lace front. Let's put it on. Oh my God. Oh my God. God. Ah, I'm about to look like Ronald McDonald himself. Oh, it looks cool. If you wanna be Jessica Rabbit for Halloween, hi honey, here you go. If you wanna be Poison Ivy, look no further. This wig is giving me an attitude. Like no one talked to me in this wig. I feel like I need like my hella long nails on. Like this is giving me a whole new confidence. <laughs> look how long it is. I love how wavy it is too at the bottom. Again, you know, you gotta give yourself a hairline. You gotta give it a chance. Like look at the difference that that makes. Okay, here she is, clipped 
back, a few hairs cut at the front. What do we think of this one? I would definitely wear this to a festival. It looks dope. I would for sure recommend cutting some shorter hairs at the front, especially since it doesn't have a darker root with my hair. So to help blend that in, these little hairs for sure help. I give this one a seven just because it's probably the color that I could see myself wearing the least, but I love the style of the wig and how long it is. And for Halloween, you could be so many different things. So I do like this one a lot. Next, we have another fun color. This is kind of similar to that blue short one, but this is much longer and it has a darker root. So it'll be easier to blend into my hair, I think. It's from the store Ang Chun, I think is how you pronounce it. And it was only $10. Wow. We got some deals today. Let's put her on and see who I become. Oh my God, this one's dope. Oh, I cannot see. Let's brush her out. Oh, this one, I feel like you don't have to do too much styling. It's so sleek and straight. Because the root is so similar to my natural color, I could just pull out my own baby hairs to make it look legit. I wouldn't even have to probably cut the wig, but you see how there's like a blunt cut there. This one's not a lace front, so that's why it's a little thicker, but we already know the trick to fix that, so ain't no worries. This one looks like I should be in somebody's music video. Like I look that good in blue, who knew? It's super, super soft. I like that it's a little bit thinner. Like the hair feels not as thick. So I think that makes it look a little bit more natural. It's laying down really nicely. It's pretty much styled. It's just super sleek and straight. This one goes pretty long, like down to my hip. I do like the length of it. And I think this blue color would look absolutely dope with a beanie on. I look like an e-girl. Look at me, I'm transformed. Let me go make a TikTok right now. It's very similar to this one, but it's just blue. It has like the darker hair at the top and they both aren't a lace front, but I do really like the color. It's very vibrant and a lot of fun. She's a new woman. Last but not least, we have our final wig. And this one is the only one with bangs. It is the red wine wig. It's about 10 inches short. It was only $10 and it was from the shop called YWG. Let's put it on. This red color is exactly how I had my hair in high school. Like it was this exact color. So I'm really curious to see me with it on again. Oh my God. Let me adjust, let me adjust. It looks crazy. Brushy, brushy. This is literally high school Sylvia. What? But instead of like straight bangs like this, I literally push them all to the side because you know, emo Sylv in the building. It's actually tripping me out. I literally look how I looked like 10 years ago. What is this, you guys? This is how my hair was in high school. I'm tripping out. I went back in time. This is exactly what my hair looked like. Let me pop up a few pictures. Bop, bop, bop. Does it not look the same? There you go, she's back. Let me go to my photography class, hit up my friends at lunchtime. This is my favorite one. This is my favorite one for sure. And let me see it with the bangs kind of straight how it's supposed to be. I've always wondered how I'd look with straight across bangs. I guess we're about to find out. I love how the bangs aren't like a blunt cut. They're kind of sticking to my foundation right now, which is disgusting, but they look good. I like it. Should I cut bangs? I'm gonna get myself bangs. I'm gonna get myself bangs. This looks sick. I could be a rock star with this hair. It feels really good. It's super shiny. I like how it's like thin, so it lays really nicely. The bangs look good for $10. I'm shook. Also the bangs make it so you don't really have to cut your own baby hairs and go through all that. It's kind of just ready to wear and flop on your head. I think this one's bomb. I really like it. It changed up my look completely. What do you guys think? Do you like red hair? Was I killing it in high school or was I crazy? Should I never go red again? <laughs> I don't need to now. I got the wig, so. <laughs> so that's the end of the video. Those are all the wigs that I have to try on. This was so much fun. Like I liked all of the wigs for different reasons. Some of them I could see myself rocking on Halloween. This one's definitely my absolute favorite. I really like the first one we wore too. I also really like the gray one, the long straight gray one. That one was really, really dope. I definitely don't take myself too seriously. So this was more just for fun, throwing them on, seeing what Wish has to offer in the wig department. And you guys, they are giving us a lot of options to choose from. Let me know if you want another Wish video. I'm thinking we should do testing out free Wish makeup. Did you know that there's makeup for free on Wish? You just have to pay shipping. I definitely want to test out the free makeup on Wish. So I think I'm going to do that next, but let me know if you want to see it. Don't forget to download the Wish app if you want to check out all the different products they have. It's really addicting, so be warned. And you can shop these items using the links in the description. But that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click here to subscribe to my channel. Check out the S Club merch. We got hoodies, crop tops, a lot of good stuff. And watch these other videos of mine if you haven't seen them yet. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye.